In this lecture, I'll teach you how to perform different operations using math object in JavaScript, such as generating random numbers, for example. Applications often need a way to provide users random choices or outcomes. Generating random numbers comes in handy, especially for game applications or any time we want to make our program less predictable. For example, in a dice or card game, each dice roll or a card shuffle might result in different outcome that's randomly generated. We can generate random numbers in JavaScript using what's called math object. Even though we have already worked with objects, we haven't specifically talked about what they are just yet. So let's learn some of the basics of object first, then we'll dive into the math object and start generating random numbers. In JavaScript, data types like strings, booleans, and numbers are called primitive data types because they are basic values built into the language. A string or number primitive by itself cannot be altered or manipulated. It turns out that JavaScript automatically adds a special wrapper around the most primitive data types so that we are able to alter them. That wrapper is called an object. And as we learn, JavaScript is made of different types of objects. In the previous lectures, we learned that even though a string is just a series of characters inside quotation marks, the JavaScript engine treats it as an object behind the scenes, which unlocks useful functionality by way of properties and methods. All objects have properties. A property is just like a variable that's associated with or attached to the object. The string object, for example, has a property named length, which holds a numeric value. In fact, we have already used the length property to find the number of characters in a string. Each defined string has its own length property because different strings can have different number of characters in them. All objects also have actions that they can perform. We call these actions methods. A string, for example, has the two uppercase method, which we used before to convert a string to all uppercase letters. There are other types of objects in JavaScript, but for now we'll start with a special object called the math object. In addition to the arithmetic operators we learned, JavaScript has a built-in math object used to perform complex mathematical operations on numbers. For example, finding the square root of a number or working with complex trigonometric functions like tangents, sines, and cosines, which can help us create more realistic games and animations. The properties of math object are built-in numbers that we can use in certain calculations. For example, pi or math.pi is used to calculate the area of a circle. The methods of math object are mathematical functions that are built into JavaScript. For example, the math.round method takes a number like 5.2 and rounds it to the nearest whole number, 5 in this case. I'll use the JavaScript console to demonstrate how the math.round method works. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript Numbers and then open the index.html file using Google Chrome. Then open the JavaScript console using the command option J if you are on a Mac or control shift J if you are on a Windows. The math object is a bit unusual in that we type the word math with a capital M, followed by a period and the method. We'll then provide the method a number value to work with, like 5.2. And the method returns a new value, in this case, 5. I'll try another number and see what happens. Math.round rounds 14.9 to the nearest integer, and in this case, it's 15. The math object is like a built in library that full of useful mathematical functions. As you can see, there are lots of different methods for specific types of math. Some are more complex than others. For example, math.max returns the largest number from a set of number values passed into it. Up next, I'll teach you how to create random number using JavaScript math object, a really handy skill. 